Hello, it is currently 5 in the morning and I'm going to teach you how to do scales on your edit. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So, as you can see here, it is my like my clip is twixtured and it's already cut. So, first of all, make sure your um, motion blur is enabled. So just click on this icon that says enable motion blur. And then by default, this is all going to be empty. So just enable this column only so it enables motion blur on these um, layers. Okay, so after that, you need to put a motion tile on your clip. So just go to your effects and presets and just type in motion tile and put this, put the output width and the output height to 400 and click on mirror edges. And then just copy this and paste it on all of your clip. So as you can see, this clip, this clip has motion tile. Okay, no one cares. Click on your clip, press S on your keyboard so scales pops out. I'm gonna start off with a zoom in. So keyframe this, set this value to 200, and then go like, don't go at the end of a clip, make sure like you need room for the third um, keyframe. So I think I'm gonna put like, um, like three to four frames um, before the end of a clip. Set this back to two, uh, set this back to 100. And then at the end of a clip, I think I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. So set this back to 200. Highlight these three keyframes, press F9 to easy ease and then graph them. So just copy my graph. So it's gonna look like this. All right, so let's see how this part looks. Okay, so moving on to the second part. So as you can see this part, ended with a zoom out i mean zoom in so you need to s begin this clip with a zoom out so keyframe this set this value to uh, 80 and then again say, repeat the same process so don't go like, at the end of the clip go at, like f uh, a few frames backwards and just set this back to 100 and then for this part i think i'm going to zoom out so set this value back to 80 because you want to zoom out and then highlight these three keyframes and then just graph them again so put it like this all right so let's see how these two look okay and then again, just copy for the rest of the clip. As you can see here, this ends with a zoom out. So I'm just gonna make this to 200 because zooming in. And then just do this, put this to 100. And then I think for this part, I'm going to zoom out. Okay. So put this to like 80. Okay. So that, just grab this. Scaling is literally all about graphing. If your graph is, if you know how to graph your um, scales well, like your transitions will be much smoother. So uh, let me see this. Yeah, I think for this part, it's a bit slow. So I'm just gonna fix that real quick. So we just mess around with your graph. So just mess around with your graph. So I can put it right there. And then, Okay, for this part is too fast now. Okay, just mess around now. All right, so and the last part, I'm going to start with a zoom in because the first part is a zoom out. And then since this is the last part of the video, I'm just gonna put at the end of the clip to 100. So there's only two keyframes. And then I'm just gonna draw mine just like this. Oops. Okay, simples. So, as you can see, your skills are now done. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do skills. Okay, so if you if you want to make a like a fake zoom in on the middle of your clip, but like there's no room because there's only 
you've already put your um, keyframe. So it's really simple to do. All you do is just add a null on top of it and just parent it. So Control Alt Shift and Y to pull out the null, and then just cut it to like a few frames, depending on like how long you want your zoom in to be. So make sure to enable motion blur on that, and then parent this to the null. Press S on your keyboard to scale it. Keyframe this, and then go at the end of your clip or end of the null, and then set this to like a minimal value. So I think 120 would work. Just highlight this and then just graph it. So I think that looks good so far. You see this? So as you can see, it zooms out. I mean, it zooms in without um, without bothering the, these keyframes. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use nulls as well. All right, so as you can see, can you shut the Okay, so as you can see in the middle, while it's like, while it's zooming in or zooming out, you can see the motion tile. So to, to hide that, it's pretty simple. All you do is just add um, lens blur or any type of blur. So just press Control Alt Y to pull out the um, adjustment layer. Never put um, your blurs on the clip because it, it, it makes things harder. So just put them on an adjustment layer. So after you pull out your adjustment layer, just type in any blur you want I'm gonna use BCC lens blur OBS if you don't have this that means you don't have BCC plugin installed so just search on YouTube on how to install BCC plugin it's really simple there's like loads of tutorials out there so just click on that set this so these are just my settings just quality to sharper and then go a few frames before the transition happens set this to zero keyframe this and set this to around 20 or oh, that's 200 oops and then press you on your keyboard so it shows the keyframe and then i'm just gonna go like this set this back to zero and then key uh highlight those keyframes and easy ease them you don't need to um you don't need to uh graph it you can graph it if you want to but i think for this scene or for this edit i'm just i choose not to because like i'm not gonna waste time on just making this look good it's literally 5 a.m so please let me be all right so as you can see there's motion blur i mean not much there's blur so it does hide a little bit of the motion tile you can if it doesn't hide it if it doesn't hide it much you can just always put this value the the iris scale value to like 30 and then hold on let me change this to 30 okay so don't put too much um, blur it'll just make your edit more shit so as you can see it, it kind of hides it not too much but like it, it's it's um it's way better than before as you can see off wait on off so yeah it, it does hide it so just copy these keyframes and just Control c and then just paste it on the transitions and then it should look like this I think I want to put a subtle blur on this zoom in. So I'm going to keyframe this to where it's zooming in. So I think like right here, set this to like 10 maybe. And then wait, I think put it right there. Set this to back to zero. And then it should look like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to like do skills and add blurs on it. So and after that, you can just add CC on your edit, so as you can see. Hold on. The, okay, if the quality is ass, don't worry. It's my thing is on quarter. My PC just can't handle it. So you you get the premise of it. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to do skills and add blurs on it. So yeah thank you so much for watching i'm sorry if this tutorial is like really scuffed or like really rushed like it is literally 5 a.m and i've just decided to make a tutorial for you guys so um yeah i'm sorry um yeah if you have any questions relating after effects or any other issue just let me know in the description below I, i'll try to answer them i'll try to help you guys and yeah if you want more tutorials just 
as usual leave them down in, uh, in the description below join my discord server if you want to and subscribe if you want to as well i'm almost at 100 no i'm almost at 1k subscribers and follow my instagram as well if you if you want to so yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in a bit adios